Now we've got uh, one who follows the Nigeria Premier Football League, a sport journalist, Robert Olimanek joining us via Zoom. Thank you so much, Robert. I really need to make sense of the decision by the Nigeria Premier Football League. You're welcome to the show. Uh, good afternoon to you. It's good to be on the program once again. Uh, afternoon to you. It's good afternoon for Hatland, for all Hatland fans. They would say this <laughs> afternoon is the best afternoon ever. Because this is the news that they have been waiting for. But, Robert, this clearly contradicts um, that confidence expressed by the owner of Beyond Limits um, Academy, that's Kunle Shoname, of course. And we did speak to him, uh, the sport manager of New Central Television, about Nikoiki, had that conversation. Let's listen to him. When we come back, we will react to that. Organize ourselves slightly better than we have done now. We'll win the league. Hmm. That reaction coming from the owner of Beyond Limit Academy. Now, Robert, you did hear that clearly. He was ensuring confidence over there, expressing that Beyond Limit and Remo Stars will have to play. Now, this, you know, released by the organizers of the Nigeria Premier Football League, you know, cast as passion to all that we have heard on social media. But my question is, why wait until the league resumes? Why do you have to wait until the first match uh, for the opener of the 2024-2025 NPFL season gets played before you make this decision? After that, even the fixtures have been done with Beyond Limit having their own fixtures for the new season. Help us make sense of that. Okay, um, if you want, if I'm actually going to give my thoughts about this, mm. I, first and foremost, I will say that um, there's really no time frame as regards when such news can be released by the league body. And um, at this point in time, I, I, one could say that it makes more sense coming at this point in time because um, the, the match they want fixtures have not been played in its entirety. And the team in question, I'm talking about Beyond Limit FC, are yet to more or less kick a ball in the Nigerian elite division. Mm. So hence why this news came at this point in time. And of course, if you look at the time frame, today is Tuesday. The, the other fixtures of March they want uh, are set to go down Saturday and Sunday. So it leaves enough room uh, for this information to more or less be digested by sports fans and, of course, our followers of the league across the country. All right. If, if you say that um, the match day one has not been played in its entirety, do you remember, if I'm going to quote what was said by the Nigeria Premier Football League organisers, he says that Beyond Limit is linked to Remo Stars, another NPFL team, which violates the rule B11.4 of the NPFL framework and rules. Now, these fixtures were done with Beyond Limits, you know, you know uh, having to be assigned their own fixtures. Wasn't this framework, wasn't this rule in the minds of the organizers when they were having to do these fixtures? Yes, I would say that um, the, the rules were in the minds of the administrators when they were doing these fixtures. But yet again, you have to look at it from the angle of the major topic at that point in time was getting the fixtures for the 2024 2025 MPFL season sorted. And in that, at that point in time, you don't more or less chase around um, different targets. You need to actually put your mind on one target, which is to get the features sorted out. Mm. Right now, the issue of the eligibility or uh, the element playing in the league was sorted out, and that is why we are getting this news at this point in time. Mm. So for the previous period, when the features were sorted out, the fixtures were the most important thing on the minds of the administrators, and they really needed to get that done. And if you check the social media handles of various MPFL teams, you would see that they all are trying to put their fixtures out there for fans to see. And I will quote maybe a team like Ecuador City, as of yesterday, if you check the social media handle, they had a compilation of their fixtures um, um, posted on their social media handles for fans to understand these are where their matches will be played and, of course, the dates as well as the venues for those games. So I, I think coming out at this point in time, for me personally, I really don't think it is too late, going by the fact that the entirety of match the one fixtures have not been played yet. All right. A lot say, why Heartland? Because um, the news that have been making the rounds on social media before the decision was made officially by the Nigeria Premier Football League says Heartland will buy the slot. Hatland would be uh, in the top tier of the Nigeria Premier Football League even after the announcement of 
Coach Emmanuel Amuneke as the head coach of the team. The MPFL India statement also said that um, Atland were the sole relegated team to express interest. That begs the question, what criteria did Hatland meet to be selected as the replacement for Beyond Limits Football Academy, Robert? Well, I guess we all can just go about and uh, we, we just have to hold on to that statement which says that for Hatland, they showed more interest in trying to get back to the elite division. Uh, one could say maybe other teams looking at the financial strain that the MPF demands uh, during, his, uh, during the participation in the league could be a reason for why others just decided to more or less go down to the NNL and review the game. But like I said, for the statement, uh, it says that for Heartland, they expressed that sole desire to want to come back and compete in the elite division. So I guess we But there were other teams no that were relegated. There were other teams that were relegated. We know how Sporting Lakers yes. had to beat up and down, sideways, um, <laughs> after hearing that they were relegated. That seemed like a team that also want to come back, you know, to the top tier. Why hard? Uh, well, we, uh, I think for Sporting Lagos, one cannot assume at this point in time. Mm, mm. Yes, the MPFL, the MPFL misses Sporting Lagos. I, for one, I miss Sporting Lagos because they are one very exciting side and they have one of the most amazing fans in the MPFL as it is. Uh, but uh, looking at um, what the MPFL board has put forward, one has to trust the judgment of those who sat and, of course, decided uh, this particular action, which we are talking about at this point in time. Mm. And, of course, I believe that they would have taken into consideration uh, possibly the desires of Sporting Lagos to come back into the league as well as that of Heartland. There are things we don't see at this point in time, and only members of the board can more or less shed more light on this particular case. But what we have in front of us is the fact that Heartland are coming back to the NPFL. All right, the organizers in that statement also said that there was no slope buying by Heartland, you know, to be reinstated into the 2024-2025 um, MPFL season. What measures are in place to ensure that um, there is nothing like that? Because I heard a lot of money at that time on social media, rumors that um, Heartland were ready to buy, you know, pay beyond limit, a whopping sum to get their slot. But the MPFL organizers say no slot buying. What measures can be taken that we, so that we do not ensure slot buying in the league? Uh, I think going forward, mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, in the course of the season, the MPFL board can put out the criteria uh, that were fulfilled by Heartland in terms of how they got the slots mm -hmm. uh, handed to them. Uh, because like you said, the statement I think that would be a good step in the right direction no... because uh, everyone, yes. the, the whole thing is still bleak, I would say, to know what criteria Heartland met for yes. them to be admitted into the top tier. I think it will be a good step in the right direction for them to put out something for people to know precedence, you know, setting up precedents ahead of next time, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I agree with you. So I, I think for the MPFL board, they really need to make um, a statement where they can let everybody who are more or less very interested in what the MPFL is cooking at this point in time know the criteria um, fulfilled by Heartland so that, uh, just like you said, in the future, when we have something close to this case at hand, mm. we all can be rest assured as regards the fact that whichever team has been promoted, mm. had, uh, was able to meet those criteria going forward. So definitely, it is not a case of um, uh, uh, entity A paid entity B a particular sum of money to get back into the elite division. All right, let's talk about Hatland right now. Good news for them. I know they, they'll be rejoicing in camp right now for Hatland, who have just gotten this official announcement from the Nigeria Premier Football League. So... We heard about their, inter their friendly, I won't call it an international friendly, so their friendly, they whooped their opponent 8-0. Hmm. So whatever <laughs> team that Hatland will be facing in the MPFL this season, they will go all out because it seems that there is a resurgence with um, the appointment of coach Emmanuel Amuneke at the helm. So what are your expectations from Hatland going into the new season? Um, my expectations for Heartland, I would put it in simple terms. Okay. I expect them to, I expect them to keep their NPFL status for at least this season. Mm. Whatever it is they are able to achieve is going to be a bonus. But the most important thing is that they don't get relegated at the end of the season. 
Mm, great. Straight to the point, hitting the nail on the head. We have been speaking to one who follows the Nigeria Premier Football League, a sport journalist, Robert Olimene. Thank you so much for your thoughts on the show today. We appreciate them. Thank you very much for having me. And whatever you see, Hatland, tell them congratulations. We want to see them in the top <laughs> tier of the MPFL. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs>